Hey everybody, Mark here from Better Music. Uh, nice to have you along today. One of the most popular things that people ask us about when it comes to digital pianos is what's one of the best pianos we can buy for around the $2,000 mark? Well, today we're gonna to present to you five different models from different manufacturers and we'll see what we can make of it. So let's go and have a look at our first model. The first one we'd like to show you today is one that you may actually not be aware of uh, here in Australia. It's a brand called uh, Artesia. It's quite a new brand. Actually brings a lot of bang for your buck, uh, under $2,000. Uh, unlike the other, a lot of other brands which just give you, you know, 10 or 11 sounds, this one has got a heck of a lot on to offer for you. Around 137 sounds. You've got around 100 uh, rhythms and accompaniments, which you won't really find except maybe a few rhythms uh, on some of the other ones. You have an 88 note, uh, fully weighted keyboard to be able to enjoy and a, and a pretty beefy sound. And this one, even, even on the two grand mark, you get a polished uh, ebony cabinet. So a lot, a lot going for this particular piano. So here's, here's the, the classical piano sound. Pretty, pretty good for that under that $2,000 range. Uh, as we mentioned before, you've got all your electric piano sounds. Oh. And 120, 130 others of those to be able to enjoy. So this is the first one. It doesn't have any Bluetooth. It does actually have a USB to be able to load uh, a two track recording with, which is nice. Um, value for money, uh, quite high there. Uh, on the stakes. So that's our first one, the Artesia DP150E. So let's have a look at our, our next one today. Next up, we have the Yamaha YDP145 Arius Digital Piano. Uh, one of the best-selling pianos from the Yamaha's incredible lineup of digital pianos. Typical you know, Yamaha quality, uh, can't really go wrong with, with Yamaha, five years warranty. And what have we got? We've got a, a lovely cabinet, a typical well-made quality, an 88 note weighted keyboard, which feels excellent uh, value for money. So it's got around 11 sounds, which you can access via the function button and you can choose the uh, appropriate keys that will enable you to choose the different functions and sounds. Or highly recommend you use the Yamaha Smart Pianist app. That's the way they're all going these days. You can access the app and find all the different sounds plus many other features locked away in that app. So have a look at that to be able to bring out the best out of your YDP145. And what is it like to play? Well, it's really lovely to play, uh, easy to be able to find a, a lovely piano sound. So let's have a listen to the, the actual uh, piano sound itself. So this is just the standard uh, grand piano that they use on their piano, so. That's pretty good for the value for money under two grand to get that sort of quality piano sound. So the Yamaha certainly is uh, often high up on the selection of many people looking under that around that $2,000 uh, range. So that's the Yamaha RS YDP145. Let's have a look at our next one. Next we have the Kawai KDP120. A wonderful machine from Kawai. Uh, as you know, Kawai is an amazing, another amazing manufacturer. Only makes pianos, only concentrate on what they do best. So that, that's a big call card for this quality instrument. And what do we have with the KDP 120? 88 note weighted keyboard, really, really nice feeling keyboard. Pretty standard uh, cabinet, but again, very, very high quality. Around 15 sounds, which you can pick via the function button, just makes your way through it. But like all the other ones, it's got a fantastic app by Kawai called the Piano Remote app. One of the interesting things is this is the first of the uh, Bluetooth models. In the other ones, you have to connect up via cord, which, which is not a big deal, but having Bluetooth MIDI uh, is, is an amazing thing. So very, very easy to connect up, something to remember when you're looking uh, for these pianos around the two grand mark. Another little advantage too, is it has a full 40 watt power uh, system. So uh, nice and beefy, a little bit more than what the others have. So that's a, a little bit of a, a tick uh, for the 
the Kauai there. What's it sound like? Well, let's listen to the piano sound. Very impressive, lovely full sound. If you're sitting where I am, it really does sound nice and full, probably one of the, the best in its field. Though we always like to say that they, they are all really good pianos these days around this sort of price. So that's the KDP 120. Uh, a lot of people find this very, very high on their list. Uh, very, very enjoyable product. What have we got next up for you? So next, the Casio AP270. Again, famous name, Casio, more known for their keyboards, but for many years now have been into the digital piano market and do a, a very decent job of their pianos. Uh, what do we have? A pretty standard cabinet, well made though, still a 88 note a fully weighted keyboard, like all the other ones. Um, not Bluetooth though, so something it misses out on, but uh, certainly you can actually configure it to an app which will run with your different devices too. Has around uh, a bit over 30 sounds, which uh, is a big a big plus for it. Uh, and only has 18 watt worth of speakers though. So it's, so it's lacking a little bit in space so compared to the, the, the big Kawai's uh, 40 watts, but probably more than suitable for home use. And let's, let's have a listen to its standard piano sound that we, we can uh, get from here. So, more than decent piano sound. Uh, again, uh, all these products really have very good piano sounds, some slightly better than the others. Uh, the Casio certainly uh, represents well, and it probably misses out on a little bit on the power, but makes up for the extra sounds on board, uh, which can make it uh, something different for people to consider uh, in their choices. What have we got next? One more for you. So last but certainly not least, we have the brand new model from our friends at Roland. That's the RP107 digital piano. Beautiful piano to be able to play. What's special about this one being a brand new model? Well, it still looks very conventional, though of course it's always sturdily made from Roland. 88 note weighted keyboard. Uh, it's got a, a beautiful feel to the keyboard. Have to give it that, so uh, being a brand new model. Uh, it has the non-slip key uh, tops as well, which is a lovely thing to feel. Uh, has a, a nice presence to it, so they've really done their homework on, on their piano sound. What else have they got? Well, they have their basic uh, 12 or 15 piano sounds, but what advantage to this one is they really uh, go to town with their Roland piano app. And one of the things they do is rather than just being able to control those minimum amount of sounds, the Roland have actually been able to add another 60 sounds to your keyboard and be able to control everything from your app. So if you're into your apps, which is really easy because this is uh, the latest Bluetooth, so Bluetooth MIDI straight to your iPad or other device, and you can get straight into uh, controlling your keyboard from there. That, that's a, a pretty, pretty big plus for you. Uh, apart from that, it's just a, a really lovely piano to play. So let's have a listen uh, to the RP107. So, impressive piano sound. Roland, of course, a wonderful product. They really excel in their digital piano areas. Their brand new one, the RP107, is a real classic and, and I think incredible value for money, especially with their app. Well, there you go. Five really nice digital pianos from the five different manufacturers. Uh, we had the Artesia DP150, a lot of bang for your buck. Probably um, uh, amazing sounds, but maybe just slightly the older generation. We had the Casio AP270, again, a good quality, uh, good value for money. The Yamaha YDP145, 
really high quality, uh, really lovely piano sound and keyboard. The Kawai KDP120, uh, what a lot of people feel is one of the market leaders. Great keyboard, uh, really, really big sound with its 40 watts worth of speakers. And we had finally had the uh, Roland, the brand new Roland RP107, which really uh, sets a bit of a pace for all the other ones because of its new app, uh, as well as its lovely keyboard for the price. So there we go, is there a winner? Well, we can't really say, they're all so good. Um, there are things that stand out from one, and one another. If you go to our website at uh, bettermusic.com.au, you're able to have a look up its features, see what possibly would suit you. There are some that really will, would do stand out uh, and uh, we'll, we'll let you try and uh, make that decision. But we hope we've been able to give you some sort of guidance in that area. Uh, as we say, uh, the market is a really amazing quality these days. So hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you uh, all next time soon. And uh, thanks to all our international followers as well. Have a great day. Cheers.